Today we have an exciting update on China's latest moon mission, Chang'e 6. This weekend, they're attempting a landing on the far side of the moon. Let's dive into the details and see what this mission is all about. China's robotic Chang'e 6 mission was launched on May 3rd and entered lunar orbit about five days later. James Head from Brown University's Department of Earth, Environmental, and Planetary Sciences is working with China's lunar exploration planners. He shared insights about China's lunar efforts in a recent NASA meeting. Chang'e 6's mission profile is quite similar to the Chang'e 5 mission from December 2020, which brought back lunar material from Mons Rimker. This time, Chang'e 6 aims to land on June 2nd, Beijing time, and will spend three days examining the landing site and collecting samples. After collecting samples, the ascent module will launch from the moon to dock with the lunar orbiter. The samples will then be transferred to a return module for the journey back to Earth with an expected landing on June 25th. The landing site for Chang'e 6 is the South Pole Aitken Basin, the largest and oldest impact basin on the moon. This region could provide valuable information about the moon's mantle and volcanic processes, revealing the moon's formation history. The South Pole Aitken Basin is of particular interest to scientists because it's a huge ancient crater that holds clues to the moon's geological history. By studying samples from this area, researchers hope to learn more about the early solar system and the processes that shaped our celestial neighbor. The Chang'e 6 lander is equipped with various instruments, including a panoramic camera for mapping the terrain and lunar radar for investigating the geological structure. These instruments will help scientists create detailed maps of the landing site and understand the composition and structure of the moon's surface in this region. Solar panels will power the lander, providing the necessary energy for all its scientific instruments and communication systems. This mission is a testament to China's growing capabilities in space exploration and its commitment to advancing our understanding of the moon. Once the samples are collected and safely returned to Earth, they will be analyzed in laboratories to determine their composition and age. These analyses could provide critical insights into the history of the moon moon and the wider solar system. The samples could also help scientists understand the potential for resources on the moon, which is essential for future lunar exploration missions. China's lunar exploration program has been making significant strides in recent years, with missions like Chang'e 4, which was the first to land on the far side of the moon, and Chang'e 5, which successfully returned lunar samples to Earth, China is establishing itself as a key player in the new era of space exploration. The Chang'e 6 mission is just one part of China's ambitious plans for the moon. Future missions aim to establish a lunar research station and eventually conduct crewed missions to the lunar surface. These efforts are part of a broader international push to return to the moon and explore its potential for science as a stepping stone for deeper space exploration. That's all for today's video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you in the next time.